What's going on, guys? Trivia training series, video number three. We're going to be going through how to soft comp and go through properties to find out if there are deals. We're getting into that right now. It's your boy Brad with Real Estate Investing Made Easy. And let's get right into it, guys. We are in training video three. If you haven't already watched the first two, the first video we got how to find buyers in the market that you're going into contacting those buyers after you find their information, finding out what buy box they're looking for. And then in the second video is building the searches and lists using the filters based on those buy box criteria, and then really finding those deals for your buyers. So this third video is gonna be going through after you've created your searches and your lists. Now we're gonna be working off the list and going through a very quick way to see if these properties are deals or not. And then what we're gonna be doing is taking them from the list that we have, the, their initial list, and then putting them in into a copying list so that we can go through even, even more stringent process uh, to see if they are deals. Finally, adding them to a CRM, creating the offer, finding the realtor information, sending that offer to them. So we'll get right into it, guys. We've already, like I said, created a list here. And so we're going to go, it's, it's really quick. So what we're going to be going through is number one is going to be going through the pictures here. Is this worth my time? Can I do a flip on this? Can somebody else actually put money into this? This one doesn't look like it. So what we're going to do is go into manage lists here. We're going to unclick the property. We're going to take it out of the initial list we've put it in and we're going to put it into a fail or soft comp process. Again, moving on to the next one here. Ooh, okay. Hardwood floors. All right, kitchen looks okay. Bench boards are pretty dirty. I mean, we could definitely put a lot into the, the landscaping. Got a little garage, which was just listed today. And where are we at here? Not looking like the best area either. Let me go back out. Oh, you know what? Here, we're gonna go. This is what's really cool about Ruby. It'll give you, not only will it give you an aerial view here, let me kind of give you an idea of the layout. They also let you go into Google Street View. This is not the greatest area it's looking like. Okay, I'm going to go back to the pictures here. Moving on. That's what we're aiming for in this process, guys, is you want to get out as many offers as possible, as quickly as possible. And that's going to get you, obviously, the more offers you put out, it's going to be higher deals and ultimately higher income. So again, these are just not looking like I want to do have anything to do with them. And you'll, you guys will notice this list is getting shorter and shorter because your goal for the end of the day is for any any of these days on market, this is the like this, the start of your funnel. That's the top part of the funnel. These need to be at zero by the end of the day. And basically what that does is the market for my criteria for active deals is cleared out and moved into either comp or sale. So I want to see like, do I get through as many as these as possible? Now I want to get to one where I can actually put some money into it. This is actually really good is as I'm seeing a lot of slips in this in this area. That's good news. Like as I'm going through here, I'm seeing a lot of flipped houses. That tells me that's a good market. There's buyers that are out there. This is only one. Let's look at some of the property remarks here. It doesn't look like sometimes it takes a while to get the pictures loaded, but I'm not seeing that. You know, there's a one one conversion. I may just want to see if there's anything else out there on that. All right. What's the square footage here? 8521. Look at this for 220. Seems like that's ARV. Here's where the property values in the market that you're in is going to dictate what your offer price is for an on market deal. You need to have enough margin to allow yourself to wholesale it and make it enticing enough to a buyer to take your on market deal. This one's listed for 220. If I go in and, and I say, all right, I'll, I'll cut it under 20K and I'll offer it at 200. If I do it at 200, what's stopping a buyer from saying, I'm just going to wait until this guy falls out of his contract and I'll pick it up for 190 or 200? Because what, what am I going to have to do? I'm going to have to wholesale it at 205. And at that point, it's not worth it to this buyer. And so you need to have enough margin to make it worth it. When you bring it to a buyer to say, look, I've been negotiating it. I've gotten this deal for 60K under, whatever it is. Or in this case, let's try it. Let's just try it at 60K and see what it comes out to. And that's going to be 220. It's going to be 160. In this market, we're going to be doing it at 60, 60K ARV. So we wanted at two, let's let's call it 270. All I did was take off my 60K and then divide by 0.6 because I'm looking in this market at 60% ARV. And so then I'm going to go into the comps. I'm going to select all activity, go to my sold comps, and then I'm going to sort by sold because I want the most recent comps 
available. So what we're looking for is 265 and 270. I want to see that almost 7,000 square foot lot, 850 square feet, two bed, one bath, single story. All right. And let's see what we got here. I'm going to look for two ones first. And if I can't find any, then I'm going to be going to square footage. There's a two one. It's old November or 155. What did that look like? Maybe this is an AR. This is an Hazmus comp. See that? Oh, yeah. Somebody bought that as a fix and flip at 155. That tells me that my 160 is not far out. All right, let's continue. Okay, now I didn't see a lot. We were in here in November. Not a lot of two lines. What was this? What was this two line? It was like 896. Okay. Uh, just a quick, you know, kind of tip for comping. You know, once you get under 1,000 square feet, it, it drops dramatically. So I just want to make sure you're not comping at 850 or even 950 square feet for something that's a thousand square foot or over. Even if it was like 970 and you had a property at like 1,012 square feet, I've seen that. Uh, it can drop dramatically because buyers are like, it's not even a thousand square feet, you know? So it does make a difference. Here's one at 112. What is this at? What is this here? Lot size is pretty close. Quite a bit of work here. So 112. Well, Maybe that's where we need to be on this one. We we don't have any pictures. That's really, you know, be quick. We're not going to do a deep dive on am I seeing 260 for a two one at 850 square feet? Let's just let's just sort it by square foot. Okay, what? And then we'll we'll take a look. Okay, something close 115, 159. Here's one that sold in August. That's kind of far back, but it's it sold at 200. That's not supporting anything. This is telling me, like, if I'm going to do anything, it's going to be at that 115 number or 191. There's 200. Here we go. 200. What does this look like? This is on the border and I have any pictures and I don't know what the deal is. If we were going to move forward with this and put it into the next category, we're going to comp it here. Okay. And then what I like to do, you have a property notes section here. And what I'm going to do is put my offer number and I want to kind of put some of the, some of the comps. Now, if it, even if you're doing it on your own, it is, it's still beneficial to add the comps because if you can imagine, if you're trying to put out 10 offers, you know, you're going to have 20 properties you're looking at. And then, you know, you may be going through 80 properties to get those um, after they've passed the soft comp stage. So, you know, what's important here, why this is important is when you're looking at them, you want to make sure your numbers are correct and you want to kind of tell yourself like what you were looking at. We're sitting with like 90, maybe 120, 8,000 square feet just bumps that. But really, you don't have a lot of two ones. You know, hold on, 1,000 square feet in here. And ah, see, it's, well, I, don't, I really don't like doing it that way. I really like to see what's sold. 1,000 square feet. Maybe you take 10% off for it being over. So we're at 247. Okay, let's see what this one looked like. Was this a flip? I put some money into it. It looks like it's a lived in remodel. And that may justify a higher offer number, you know, which will increase your chances of getting it. Okay, let's check this one out. Just there we go. Very good flat. Real, real quick, guys, too. Just make sure you, and I've done this before when I've added comps to the list, just not paying attention. Make sure you back out of the property card that you are comping. Make sure you're in the property that you actually want to be in. And then we're going to add that. Okay. All right. So moving on, and this should be a quick process. We're not sure long to, you know, do it real hard analysis. We just real quick. Okay. Cap up money in this flooring, candling, probably knock down that wall. If it's not a low battery kitchen, man, look out of a, huh. you've never seen that. When's the last time? That's like 60s, 70s, man. It's like a time warp here. Okay, what do we got? 3,000 square feet, five bed, three bath, 675. Okay, these are, I'm in San Diego, not the San Diego. This is closer to what I'm actually used to. So 675, we're going to take off 100. Okay, so we're at 575, 0. 0.65, 884. Or let's just call it 885. That's comps I want for this. And look at that swing. We've got a $4 million property and we've got a 450 and 550. Okay, here's where we can use some of the other tools. I'm going to draw the year. I 
where we're out of here and see if that changes anything. Okay, we got a couple more. All right, good. That's that tool right there. Draw. And what were we looking for? 885? No, we're close to that. Nothing. What are these? First off, what does our view look like? Do we have a view? Where are we at? Let me just back it off a little bit. So close over to the water. No, well, we're like a street off. So we're not on the water, but man, we are like right off these docks. Okay. Yeah, and let's take a look at this one. All right, right out of dock, so that we can immediately just throw that out. So yeah, this one's gonna be a no-go, guys, and we're moving on. One more deal. All right, we can do the kitchen. We can do some of the flooring, bathrooms, cool. 425, we're taking off 85 off of that. 340 divided by 0. 0.6, we're at 565 to 570. Those are the comps we need to hit. 565 to 5. Now here, now again, we're going to do this. We're right here. So, okay. Here's what I want to do. Okay, I don't want any on these docks over here or anything. Okay, here we go. You see how that, yeah, drastically changed those? I've seen like million dollar price points. Okay. 3, 2, almost identical lot size. Double the size. Dang, that would have been nice. 960, area 995. No, 32, 1250. This one's close. Okay. Let's take a look. Kitchen flip. No bathroom. Go back here. That was 540. We need to be at 565 at least. I'm just not seeing it at night. Third, they had a bunch of, a bunch of, a bunch of, wow, so lucky to you all that was. All right, we're, we're too far back now in these comps, so not seeing it at the number we need to be at, and they're not going to accept an offer, most likely that I can't. I took off 85 grand, so yeah, I mean, markets where they're smaller price, where we lower price points, you know, where we can't go too far under. You know, I take up a hundred grand and we're 25% lower. Well, you guys get the picture, okay? So as we're going through here, again, we're just gonna go through until we clear that. We're gonna go into our next step, which is gonna be into our comps. We'll show you guys how to find the realtor information, what I'm gonna do after I've, I've really comped it, add it to the CRM and how we offer those. So I will see you on the next videos, please. As always, like, subscribe and Hit that notification bell for our upcoming videos. If you guys want to see more content, that's how you guys support the channel. That's a big favor and it's you know, really helpful, guys. So I'll see you on the next video.